Welcome back to my channel where we discuss dark fiction with the side of lighter genres. Today we are doing my February wrap up. I read 12 books in the month of February and I'm going to split this up with all of my romance books being at the end. My favorite book of the month was The Ballad of Black Tom by Victor Laval. This is the second book that I've read from him. I read We Travel to Spaceways, which is a short story in January. Um, and this is a cosmic horror book about a man named Tommy Tester, who is a hustler in 1920s Harlem, who has a familiarity with the occult. But he gets in over his head when he accepts a gig for a rich white man and a whole new world is unveiled to him. This book did an excellent job of combining the horrors of racism with cosmic horror in this very unique tone that Victor Laval has. He brings a very special voice to his work. I feel like you could probably show me like a paragraph from one of his books and I would just know by, I would just know it's him. He's, he's so specific and this book is just so damn good. I especially recommend that you read it on audio if that is your thing because the narration was fantastic. I admit I am insanely picky about my audiobooks. I, I'm picky about the way they're recorded. I'm picky about the way they're narrated. I like more voice acting than anything and this book delivers. It's great. It's just read it. Five stars. <laughs> On the other end of the spectrum, my least favorite book is a short story in the Black Stars collection that We Travel the Spaceways belongs to, and that is The Visit. Um, this is a book, it, this is one of those concepts where the author imagines that instead of a patriarchy, we have a matriarchy, and it's supposed to highlight the way women are treated in our society. Um, but like pretty much almost every other book, story, whatever, that tries to do that, it fails. Um, it really frustrates me when, okay, so women are in this position of power, we're supposed to be highlighting how women are treated in the world by treating the men poorly, so they're the villains, but then we also drop in some sexism for, from our society that just kind of nullifies everything that's trying to be said. It just, just wasn't good. And it was boring. So, one star for me. I, mm. Another story from this collection was The Black Pages, and I feel like this is just a situation where it shouldn't have been a short story. Um, I, I think the writing style is there. I would probably continue to check out work from this author. It's just, it was boring. It didn't have, it needed to be like a novel like a novella or something to fully execute the idea because I feel like the ideas were there. I feel like the characterizations could have been there, but there just needed to be more to it to truly be invested in anything. So um, this was two stars for me. It wasn't terrible, but it it just was, you know, it just, it just was. And another book from the Black Stars collection would be Clap Back. This has an interesting concept because the whole idea is that this like designer puts these like nano robots into clothing that then absorb into your skin and then you can tell the stories of whatever it is. Um, it was pretty solid. I do think that there could have been more cohesion between what is essentially part one and part two. Um, it's about 21 pages long and I think that if it had just been expanded to 30, it would have been able to blend those two better. You know, I, I, I just, there was such a sudden disconnect uh, that it was a tiny bit jarring, but I still enjoyed it. I still gave it four stars. The writing style was, was solid. It was there. It just was a little bit abrupt when switching between those part one and part twos. The best out of this collection uh, was These Alien Skies. This, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because I feel like this is a good one to go in blind. Um, but this is space exploration, new world exploration. Um, and just, it was well written. It had this curiosity to it that was super engaging. It was emotional, thoughtfully done, well paced. One of the few short stories that I think managed to do everything it set out to do within the allotted time frame. It didn't need anything else. It was a five star book. It, it just really good short story. I know a lot of people get frustrated with short stories because they feel like it's missing something, but I didn't feel it, like this was missing anything. 
Another audiobook that I read this month was This Thing Between Us by Gus Moreno, and this was in competition for my favorite of the month. Um, I am so in love with this book. It is about a man uh, who, prior to his wife's death, they were both experiencing some really weird, strange things in the home, and when she dies, he just spirals into grief and things get so much worse. He flees to the Colorado mountains and um, discovers there's no escaping it. This book blends heartbreak and horror with this god-awful sense of dread that just keeps you going. It packs so many punches and like you think you're done with heartbreak and then there's more. Um, I really appreciated the narrator's approach because it kind of bordered on monotone at times but in this like carefully crafted way that really highlighted our main character's grief. You felt his grief. When you when you read this on audio, you can just feel it. And um, I think it lended so well. Like, I, I really like grief horror. Um, I liked Ronald Malfi's Come With Me, and this one was fantastic. Um, I, I highly recommend it, unless you can't handle animal death, because that is a big part of this book, and I'm still in pain saying. Another book that had quite a bit of heartbreak uh, was Riot Baby. I read this on audio as well. Um, it was narrated by the author who did a fantastic job. Um, so this book is about a set of siblings, one of whom has superpowers and one who ends up imprisoned and his sister with the superpowers would burn the world for him. Um, I, I like this. Okay. <laughs> I know that the big complaint about this book is that it just feels like the the superpower, the supernatural whatever element was just dropped in there, but I liked that. It's kind of interesting to explore the concept of a world where, yeah, there's just, it's just, you know, like everything else is the same. Something about that just made it so effective. It's an infuriating heartbreaking and painful book. Um, there is not a lot of happiness in this book, I'm gonna admit. I do think that things could have been expanded on a little bit in this book. I do think that occasionally things transitioned a little bit weird, but it's still beautifully written and very well narrated by the author, and it's a very quick read. So I, I would recommend it if you can handle things like racism and the prison system. I also reread You, uh, I think I, a lot of these I talked about in a previous video, uh, which I'll link up here. Um, it was a reread. All I'm going to say is I liked it even better than the last time. If you haven't read it, you should read it. Another audiobook that I read this month was The Good House, and I really enjoyed this. Um, I initially gave this five stars, and I did knock it down to 4.5. This is a book about a woman who was trying to, you know, repair her family. Um, she used to find great comfort at her grandmother's home, but when an unexpected tragedy happens there, her whole life is just set off balance. And when she finally returns, she has to confront something so much greater and bigger than she is. I think it's well written. The audiobook is a magical experience. Robin Miles, I cannot even begin to explain to you how fantastic of a narrator she is. Um, like, even if you don't like the book, I think you'd like the audiobook experience kind of a thing. Like, she just brings, she has accents, her inflections for everything. Like, she freaking nailed it. It was just phenomenal. Like, I would like to listen to her read me a grocery list. You know, like, she's just good. Um, but yeah, I, I initially gave this five stars, but the longer I thought about it, I found, I, I really found myself frustrated with the ending that felt like a bit of a cop out. It's one of those, oh, ha, ha, ha. Mm, I don't want to say what it is because I don't want to ruin, but yeah, it felt like a cop out. So after a long debate, I decided to just take off that half star because it really, I think, it, it that was unsatisfying to me. So um, my next book by this author is probably going to be The Between. Um, I had received a copy of that from my Amazon wish list and I just, I'm interested in reading a book by this author in physical format and not audio just to see how much Robin Miles did for this book, you know? 
now we're hitting our romance. I read three romances this month, which is a lot for me. Um, I've been on a romance kick in general so far this year. Um, one of the books I read was Taken by the Dark Elf King, and I really only picked this up because I had read um, A Soul to Keep by Opal Rain, and this showed up in like my recommendations afterwards. And this is a fantasy romance between the Princess of the Light Elves and the King of the Dark Elves, where Elvira Princess attends an event that is like she's never been to this kingdom they don't they, they keep separated but she attends this event and ends up engaged to the king and um I liked the writing style I liked the spice I didn't have much to complain about except the pacing um I gave this four stars it could have been a five star book but the pacing was just off and sometimes things would happen and they'd be over it really fast and it's not like it's a glaring issue or anything like that. It's just one of those things where I'm like, you could have taken it to another level had you perfected that pacing a little bit. I also read A Soul to Heal. This is the follow-up to Opal Rain's A Soul to Keep. And A Soul to Keep, I gave 3.5. This one, I gave three stars. I think the biggest thing with these series, because like I'm going to keep reading the series. There's another one out. I'm going to read it. Um, it's just that they they're so long. They're excessively long for romances, even fantasy romances, and they could use some heavy, heavy, heavy editing, um, like quite a bit. This one, the pros for this was that it featured a plus-sized female main character. Um, the cons, like I said, were the pacing. There was also... So there is pregnancy in this one and it's fucking weird. I don't want to spoil anything. I don't want to tell you. I don't want to, you know, I don't want to ruin it. It's just fucking weird. <laughs> um, this series in general, like I, I've, I've read quite a bit of monster romance, I think, but this one, this is one that like occasionally borders on ick for me. So still going to read the series though. <laughs> The last book is Rare Danger by Beverly Jenkins. This was my first from the author and this is a romantic thriller about a private librarian who has a bit of a meet cute with an Air Force veteran and then she's kidnapped when she gets embroiled in this whole rare book scandal. Um, this is a novella and I gave this 3.5 stars. It was well written. It did occasionally border on like corny a little bit but like nothing terrible it in it's it lends for the particular genre um I just I think the only reason I really gave it 3.5 is that my dumb ass really just did not expect the amount of cop army type stuff uh which I am not a fan of I mean the the main love interest was not a cop but the main character her parents are cop I don't I just don't like cops in my in my romance. I don't I don't want them there. So 3.5 stars because again it is well written. It's fast paced. Their relationship is very cute. I like it. I just yeah that's a personal thing for me honestly. It's not it's just a 3.5 for me in particular. So if you don't mind those things you might really 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 enjoy this book and rate it higher than I did. But yeah I'm gonna read more by this author. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you don't mind that this one is a bit scattered. I did not like write out like an outline for it. I just kind of like wrote the books down and went for it. Um, but uh, I will be back next week. I'm working on a few different things, including a romance roundup and some indie author collections. So I will see you soon.